Hi, this is Russell Stanger from teachertrainingvideos.com. Today's video is about Moodle and working with video in Moodle. Now what I'm gonna try and do is start right from the beginning and simply show you how you upload a video from your own computer into Moodle, but also how you link or embed video from sites like YouTube from the internet into Moodle. I'm gonna take it a little bit further then. I'm gonna show you some different ways to think about video in Moodle because you can either have the video on the screen so that you can click on the button and watch it or you can offer it as a link that you click on and opens a window and a lot of teachers don't realize that. So we're gonna move from beginner to kind of intermediate level but then I'm gonna show you some advanced features as well. I'm gonna show you how you can create your own video and then get that video into your Moodle course. So we're gonna go all three levels and to help you I'm also going to show you real examples from projects that I've worked on so you can really understand the concepts that I'm talking about hope you like the video as always if you do please share it please like it please comment on it particularly if you've got any questions and of course if you can join me on my YouTube channel let's get started so on the screen at the moment, you can see a course that I built uh, in collaboration with another organization called Nile, and you'll see straight away that there is a video on the screen, and I can click on that video and Hi, play immediately. Stannard. And if we come into any of the units of the course, we're using what we call the grid format here. We click on a unit and then come into the content. We get a summary and then we come into the content. Again, you'll notice that there's video uh, that plays. Okay, we're into you. And I'm using something called the book uh, format here. We can jump from page to page and there's sort of different videos and content uh, to play, okay? And in this case, there's something really important to understand. I'm putting the video onto the screen so that when the user opens up the screen, they can actually see that video straight away. What a lot of teachers do wrong is that they upload the video in such a way that it's just a link and you have to click on it to open the video. So one thing I'm really gonna emphasize on this course is not only how we get that video onto the screen, but how do we visualize it immediately? I really don't like the idea, unless you've got lots of content, of having the video as a link. I really like the idea that it's visualized on the screen and that the user can open it up, the page and there is the video straight away so we're going to concentrate on that though I will contrast both ways so let's get into it straight away and make that point do you want to offer a click to the video or do you want the video visualized on the screen which is what most teachers want to do so here we've got an empty course just uh, three blocks and of course the introductory part I've turned the editing on and what I'm gonna do straight away is I'm gonna have a video in the opening part of the screen. Now, I often have that at the top of the screen on the very first unit of the course, I have a video. In fact, not in the unit, but actually in the introduction in this area here. So I literally start with a video straight away. And if you do any of my courses, you'll see that I always do that. So how could I put a video straight in uh, at the top here? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on edit and it's gonna open up a window that's basically gonna allow me to edit that opening section. And I'm gonna do that here. Now, first thing obviously that I would do is sort of write introduction to course, okay? And what I tend to do is when I'm working with Edmodel to keep everything consistent, and I always write this down, I decide right what type of headings I'm gonna use, etc. So in this particular case, working from here, I'm gonna call that uh, heading three and I would then put that into bold as well, okay? So that's gonna be my heading, and then underneath I'm probably gonna put a little bit of a text, so I'm gonna write, I'll, I'll just write this really quickly, but something like, you know, Russell Stannard introduces the course. So I've just written some text in now, all I need to do is to put in the video. Now, what we're gonna do for this first example is we're just gonna take some video from YouTube. So I'm gonna quickly jump over to YouTube, so let's imagine, for example, this video here, which is, I think it's a video, um, it's one of my videos from my channel, basically, and just giving you an example. So obviously these are videos that you've, uh, you're have you accessing from YouTube or from a, could be from a, another website, another kind of video repository. And the, the key button to click on is share. And what you want here is embed, okay? Because you're not gonna share the link to the video. You actually want the video to be visualized on the screen. So click on embed, click on copy, and copy all of that embed code. Now you need to put that embed code into Moodle. So if we jump back to Moodle, the secret is to click on this button here, edit HTML source. Just click on that, 
make sure that you're kind of at the end of where all the content is. It does, don't worry about these two P's. That's not going to make any difference. Just click down there and paste the code, the code in, okay? And then all you need to do then, once you've done that, is to click on the update button. And that video is now immediately added onto the screen. And if we save the changes, you'll now see that the introduction suddenly has a video in it. Okay, we'll look at it in a, in a minute uh, in a little bit more detail. Now, straight away, you might have noticed a problem with that video. It's quite big. I might like to make it smaller. And this is another thing that teachers don't realize. Even when you embed a video into uh, Moodle, you can actually resize it. And I'm going to show you a quick trick now to do that. So how can we update a video in YouTube and make it smaller. So the best thing to do is to click on edit here, edit section, come back to that video, there it is. Again, click on the source code and it's really easy. All you need to do is go in and change the two numbers that represent the size. Now what I tend to do is work in sort of 10%. So I say, right, I'm going to reduce the width by 10% and the height by 10%. So as a basic guide here, if I was to take that down to 500, because 10% would be 56. So it doesn't matter if it's just slightly different. I'm going to say put 500 here. And for the height, I'm going to knock it down about 30. Okay, so 10% again is going to be 31.5. So I'm going to knock that down to about 285. So I've just resized it by 10%. So all I need to do is just come in there and change the width and change the height. And then if I click on update, you should notice now that the video is a little bit smaller. Obviously, you could do that more if you wanted to. Normally, particularly when I'm working with videos in YouTube, I actually reduce them by 20%. So I'd actually double that. So if we quickly came back to that and we just knocked it down another 50, so that's going to take that one down to about 450. And it's going to take that one down to about 255. Okay, I've just now taken off a total of 20% off the original size. You can see it's quite a lot smaller. And if I save changes, suddenly now I've got my video on the screen, but it's not too big. And that is really the way that um, we put video up. Now, I just want to contrast that with another way of sharing video that I see teachers do all the time, which is a little bit mistaken in my opinion, because I think it's really nice to have the video on the screen. So one of the mistakes that I see teachers use a lot when it comes to video is that they do this. They come down and add an activity or and what they do is they choose link. So come down here, we're going to choose URL. So they're adding a link to a video, okay? And what I'm going to do is just show you how that would work. So I'm going to put in here uh, video introduction okay and then i'm going to need to link to the video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over to the video that i want to link to so we're going to come back to youtube again sorry let me just jump on come down to share this time of course we're going to just copy the link okay we're not embedding it come back again to here and then we paste that link in all right so we put that link in now if i save that and click on save and display what you'll notice on the screen okay if we come back now to the actual course is that yeah that was the video that i shared at the beginning but look at that new video that i've done see it's not actually on the screen it's simply a link and if you click on that of course it's going to open up the window and take you to the actual video so i don't like that style if i can avoid it i much prefer not to just offer links to the video but rather to actually have the video on the screen and there are various techniques to make that possible now in the introductory part there at the top it's really easy because you just simply click on edit and you embed the video but it, when you start to come into the sections then it slightly does get a little bit more complicated so what we've looked at there is is basically sharing youtube to video but what i want to do now is to do exactly the same thing but rather than sharing video from youtube i'm going to upload a video and show you how that works so to make things really clear to you, I'm going to delete what I've just done there. So I'm going to delete that link to that video. And I'm also going to delete this video that I've embedded into the page by coming over to edit, edit that section, that top section. I'm going to come down here, click again over here, and I'm just going to delete all of that. I can see where the video starts because it says iframe. So I'm just going to delete all of that. And now we haven't got any video left. We just got the introduction again 
and I'm going to show you now a different way of uploading video. As you can see now, there's no video on the screen. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to click on this button. And this allows us to upload videos that we have put into Moodle or that we're going to upload from our computer. So I'm going to click on Upload Video. And in this case, I'm going to click on Upload a File. So I'm going to say Choose File. That's going to take me to my computer. And all I need to do now is find the video. Of so I'm going to choose this video here, click on Open and then click on upload it's going to take a few seconds for that video to upload one nice thing is again it's going to visualize on the screen we're not offering a link to the video we're actually placing the video into the content okay so the video is ready i just simply click on insert and the video is on the screen don't worry that it's not actually showing it will show when we save it just a little tip whenever you're going to put a video up make sure you click on the screen first to say to the to, to, to Moodle this is where I want the video to go before you click on the upload button okay so we've uploaded the video into the right place we click on save changes and when we come back to the screen there it is the video is uploaded again just like the Moodle example just like sorry the YouTube example again you notice it's nice and small um, so again it looks really professional one thing is when you play the video Hi, okay, is that you can of course make it bigger all right so You've seen there examples of how we can upload video into uh, the screen and also how we can upload video as a link. And we've looked at both YouTube and working with um, video that we've uploaded. Now, now what I want to look at now is actually making my own video and uploading it. So at the moment, we've got this course here that hasn't got, uh, I've just got some video here from YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the editing. And the first thing I'm going to do is delete that video there that's at the top of the screen because we don't want to work with that video now. So I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to delete all of that again, just like I did earlier. And this time though, I'm going to produce my own video. So I'm just going to grab that there and delete it. Okay. I always do it this way because it's always just the easiest way to delete it. You can always see where the video is. It'll always say something like embed and you'll know. So I've just cleaned that video off. Now, I'm going to use a technology. We're going to look at screen capture technology. Screen capture technology is the quickest and easiest way to make content. I'm going to use a technology called Snagit. There are many of these tools around. You can download and use Snagit for free for two weeks. Unfortunately, it is a technology you're going to have to pay for. Uh, I've been using screen capture technology for many years, and it's the one that I like the best. What I'm going to do, I'm going to imagine that I need to record myself doing a presentation. Okay. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to open up Snagit, and uh, here it is, and I'm going to click on Capture. And all I need to do when I open up Snagit, let me just get rid of that, is here it is the capture window turn it on to video and i simply mark the area that i need to record now while i'm doing this recording i'll need to turn off the webcam because i can't because i'm obviously screen capturing this as well so i'm going to be now doing a screen capture of a screen capture so i have to turn the webcam off while i do this video so i'm just going to mark an area around the video that i want to record okay so I've just marked out this area here. This is going to be the area I'm going to record. Notice then that uh, I connected, obviously, my uh, microphone. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this button here, and I'm going to start actually recording myself on this video. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a lecture about the flipped classroom. I'm going to click on the uh, pause button. I'm now going to jump to the next screen and carry on my video. The key part of the flipped classroom is to understand Bloom's taxonomy. What we're trying to do in the flipped classroom is to do the lower order thinking skills at home and spend more time in the class working on these higher order thinking skills. And now I'm going to go to the next slide and I can literally make a recording. Now if I click on this stop button, this video is immediately ready. Uh, it's got sound on it and I can just play it back. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a lecture about the flipped classroom. The key part of the flip. Now, I've got two options now. I could either upload that video into YouTube because I can connect it to my YouTube channel and upload the video directly into YouTube. Or I could even just save that video. We'll do that first. Save as. And I'm going to literally save this onto my desktop. And we're going to call this test video Moodle video okay and click on save now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to upload this video straight into Moodle 
Okay, so I can see that video. I saved it on my desktop. I don't need the recorder anymore, so I'm going to minimize. I can see the video there. I'm going to open up, um, and I'm going to now add that video in. So I'm going to come down to here. Remember, we clicked on this button. All right, so insert Moodle Media. And uh, we're going to upload. So we're going to click to here, and we're going to upload, obviously, something from the desktop. So I'm going to come down to the desktop. Hopefully, I'm going to find that video. So it was test video Moodle Media. Click on open. Same thing as before. It's going to upload. It's going to take a few seconds. In fact, it's a very short video, so it's just literally taken a few seconds. Click on insert, and again, exactly the same. That video is now uploaded into Moodle, but this time it's a video that I actually created myself using Snagit. Now, I could have done exactly the same thing, but uploaded that video onto YouTube and then embedded it. And that's the final thing I'm going to show you today, how easy it is to just make a video and upload it into it at YouTube and then embed it into YouTube. So the first thing I need to do is rather than save that video onto my computer, I'm now going to upload it onto YouTube. So I'm simply going to go to share and go to YouTube and send send to YouTube. Now I've already connected my YouTube channel to Snagit and to do that all I needed to do was to put my Gmail account in and my password so that I have a direct connection and I'm just going to simply got the title there. You always have to put one quick description and one quick uh tag I'm going to set it as unlisted so no one can find the video uh, and I'm going to click on upload now the video is already going up onto the channel and immediately it sends me the link to that uh, video and it actually takes me to the site so there is that video now already on YouTube it really is that quick and all I need to do now is to click on the share button and get the embed code because what I want to do is to embed this video now it might take a few minutes before it's ready but it doesn't matter we can copy that down we're going to come back now to our course and all we need to do now is to come back into edit and we're obviously going to delete that video the one that we've uploaded because this one's actually uploaded into uh, Moodle but this time we're not going to do that so we're going to come back again I'm just looking I can see where the video is it's just here I'm going to delete that and I'm going to paste in that code I'm going to paste in the code to the embedded video that's on YouTube I'll click on update and I can already see it's working and I'm going to click on save changes and you'll now see that the, embed, the video is embedded. Remember, if I wanted to, I could go in and change the size of it to make that smaller. Right, we've covered quite a lot of ground there. We've looked at basically uploading videos into Moodle and uh, also linking to videos from YouTube. We've looked at how you can change the sizes. We've looked at how you can either share a link to a video or actually paste the video into the screen so that you can see it. And then I've gone on and shown you a technology that we can use to create our own videos as well, especially if we want to perhaps record ourselves doing a PowerPoint presentation or talking over something. Hope that video was useful. If it was, please like it. Please share it. It'd be great if you could share it with other teachers. Uh, please, any comments or questions, put them below. And please, if you can, follow my channel. And thank you very much. Back on camera now. Um, hope you like that. Please come to teachertrainingvideos.com if you want more videos. There's a great section on Moodle. Just click on it. Loads and loads of videos connected with Moodle. If you'd like to keep up with my work, then please sign up to my newsletter. That way you'll keep up to date with all the webinars and all the talks and presentations that I give uh, around Europe and the rest of the world. You'll find out about my blog posts, uh, any um, uh, short courses that I'm running online. And uh, if you want all the backdated content, the best thing then to do is to sign up or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on the bell, that way you get updated when new videos go up. And there's a lot of backdated content on there, and again, lots of videos about Moodle. If you do want me to present for you or to do an online course with you, you can contact me on the website. Contact me here. I do obviously presentations and workshops in different organizations and I also work online. So I train uh, people one to one, uh, but also uh, one uh, to many in groups. And I have a very special online delivery service that makes that whole process really interactive and that can be quite interesting. And thank you very much.